Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss the implementation of mall customer segmentation using a k-means clustering and Python programming language. First, we will see uh, what is clustering. Clustering is a set of uh, technique used to partition the data into uh, different groups or clusters here. The k-means clustering is an unsupervised machine learning technique which groups the unlabeled data set into different clusters. That is, uh, it's unsupervised machine learning technique where we don't have any label for the data set. It will divide that particular data set into different clusters. So that is the main uh, aim of uh, k-means algorithm here. The k stands for the number of clusters. For example, if k is equal to 5, we want to create 5 clusters. If the value of k is equal to 10, we want to create 10 clusters in this case. K-means does uh, two main uh, important tasks. The first one is uh, it will determine the best value for K center points. Uh, how, uh, for example, if you want to create K clusters, we need to know the K center points. So that is what it does. And it will assign the data points to these particular K centers based on the distance. And the closest uh, data point will be assigned to the K center in this case. Uh, this is how the raw data looks like before applying the k-means. Uh, once you apply the k-means with uh, k as 3, we will get 3 clusters over here. Now coming back to the implementation, that is the main part of our discussion here. Uh, we have to import a few libraries here. I have imported uh, the 4 libraries, the pandas, seaborn, matplotlib and uh, k-means from sklearn.clusters here. So these are the 4 libraries are required. Once I import this particular uh, libraries, I have to read the data and then I have to pre-process that particular data here. So I use uh, read underscore CSV uh, from pandas to read the data because my data is present in uh, CSV format. The name of the file is customers.csv in this case. So now the data is present in customer underscore data over here. First, I will uh, print the first five rows of this particular data with the help of head function so that I can understand whether the data is loaded successfully or not. Uh, if you see this particular output, you can see that uh, there are five columns are present and that is nothing but five uh, features, customer ID, gender, age, annual income and uh, spending score in this case. Now, uh, we will try to see the information about this particular data with the help of info like how many nominal values are there, what is the data type and so on. So, uh, customer underscore data dot info will give us this information. Uh, all the five uh, uh, features have 200 nominal values. The first one is uh, integer, second one is object, third, fourth and fifth one are again integer in this case. Now I want to know are there any uh, null values are present in this particular data set with the help of uh, is null function. Customer data uh, dot is null dot sum. It will give you the total number of uh, null values for every uh, feature in this case. If you look at the result, uh, the result says that there are zero number of null values are there. The meaning is we don't have any null values in the given data set. Uh, th if that is the case, there is no need to process that particular null values and all. If you have a null values, we need to process them. The meaning is we need to put some uh, uh, mean, median, mode or zero as the value for the null values. Again, uh, if you come back to the next uh, line, what we are doing here is from this particular customer dot uh, uh, customer data, we are going to drop for three columns, customer ID, gender and age because we are not interested in this thing. We are interested in only these two that is annual income and spending score. Based on these two things, we want to cluster or segment the uh, customers in this case. So we will drop these three and then we will put only these two columns in X here. So X has uh, the uh, two things, one is uh, annual income, the first one, second one is uh, spending score in this case. So we have done with the pre-processing. Now we will try to visualize that particular data. So first I will create a figure of size uh, 15,8 and then we will uh, display that particular uh, data using a scatter plot that is uh, x all rows, 0th column, x all rows, 1st column. That is, uh, we can say that annual income and then the spending score. I have assigned the labels also like annual income for X and the spending uh, score for Y and then I have finally displayed that particular plot here. So this is how actually that particular data look like. Looking at this particular data, it is very difficult to know uh, how many clusters are required, uh, what should be the optimal value of K and so on because uh, we cannot say that uh, the we have to create 3 clusters, 4 clusters, 5 clusters or something like that. For that reason, what we do is uh, we use something called as uh, the elbow method. 
uh, once you use that particular elbow method or once you execute this particular part of the code that is the elbow method uh, we will uh, get what we can say that uh, a graph here the elbow method is nothing but what we will go on changing the number of clusters like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and something like that I will get a score based on that particular score I can decide what should be the optimal value here looking at this particular thing that is if uh, the value of uh, clusters is 1 we are getting a very high value of uh, WCS uh, score and as and when if you increase the value of uh, K or you can say that the number of clusters this value is getting decreased and if you look at this particular point at uh, K is equal to 5 uh, or after K is equal to 5 the uh, this particular score is getting decreased very slowly the meaning is this should be the optimal value for K in this case so we assume that the value of k is equal to 5 from here onwards now considering the value of k is equal to 5 uh, what we do is we will create the clusters that is k means of uh, n clusters is equal to 5 uh, init is equal to k means plus plus and random state is equal to 0 these are some of the different uh, attributes we need to pass uh, to this particular k means the first one is very important that is how many number of clusters are required so we have created uh, the model here that is uh, k means and then to this particular model we will pass our data that is x so that we will get the labels for those particular data now we will try to print the centroid points uh, that is model dot cluster underscore centers underscore this is a default variable uh, which will give us the centers of each and every clusters over here now with the help of this particular part of the code uh, we will try to visualize that particular uh, what we can say that the clusters uh, the first cluster I have drawn with the help of red color, second one with pink color, third one with yellow color, fourth one is green and fifth one is orange in this case. We can visualize that particular clusters over here. So this, uh, uh, this is how actually we can create the clusters uh, so that uh, uh, we can segment those particular customers based on their annual income and spending score here. So this is the one group of customers, this is the second group of customers, third group of customers, fourth one and fifth one in this case. Now uh, we can conclude uh, with something like this. Uh, the k-means is one of the most uh, famous uh, clustering algorithm for uh, uh, unlabeled uh, data. We can clearly see there are uh, five clusters are formed with the help of this particular uh, the final graph over here the black dots uh, represent the centroid for each uh, what you can say that the cluster here so this is the first centroid second one third one fourth one and fifth one in this case i hope uh, you found this particular video useful where I if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching